Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Um, today I wanted to t talk about this science is not a religion. I don't know how many times I hear on all kinds of different channels that uh, science has become a religion, that uh, it's not real science anymore like it used to be. As you can see there, you can t tell what my view is on science is, uh, science is not a religion. Nope, not ever, no way, no how. Uh, it's just not a religion. And I'm going to show you some reasons that I think it's not a religion. Um, I've had a lot of contact with different religions through my lifetime. I was always curious about what other people believe, and so it was kind of a, a passion of mine to look into uh, other kinds of religions. Um, good old Tesla says, there is no conflict between the ideal of religion and the ideal of science, but Science is opposed to the theological dogmas because science is founded on fact. This was by the famous Nikola Tesla. Really, that first slide should be all we need, right? Well, science is based on fact. Uh, a a scientific definition of science, a real uh, definition. Uh, this is for Anthony Riley, who always quotes some ridiculous uh, um, definition. So science is the pursuit and application of knowledge and understanding of the natural and social world following a systematic methodology based on evidence. And the scientific methodology includes these following things. Objective observation, which includes measurement and data, possibly, although not necessarily, using mathematics as a tool. And notice there, mathematics is only a tool evidence, experiment, and, and or observation as benchmarks for testing your hypotheses. Induction, this is reasoning to establish general rules or conclusions drawn from facts or examples. Repetition, critical analysis, verification and testing, which is critical exposure to scrutiny, peer review, and assessment. These are all part of science. So this whole thing here is the definition of science. So what is the definition of religion? Due to the wide range of its usage, the English word religion is not easily defined. Most commonly, however, it refers to ways in which humans relate to the divine, a presence or plurality of a presence, a force, sometimes construed as plural, behind, beyond, or pervading sensible reality, that conditions, but it's not conditioned by that reality. All such ways include a system of beliefs about the divine and how it's related to the uh, world. Most, most also involve an attitude of awe toward the divine, a pattern of actions, rituals, and ethical code. By extension, religion is often used to 
refer to systems of beliefs and related practices that play an analogous role in people's lives. So Buddhism, Confucianism, even humanism. The word religion is thus an abstract term and adaptable to a great variety of reference. So religion versus science, what is the uh, idea here? Well, this topic opens up a dangerous can of worms. There are fan fanatic science deniers and just as fanatic atheist religion bashers. And this following rest of this slide is just my personal thoughts. Uh, religion is based on faith and an emphasis on the spiritual and the next world. Uh, science is based on hard facts with continuous hypothesis. Emphasis is on the physical and the current world. Religion promotes charisma and intangible qualities in their leadership. Uh, there is very little interest in higher education, credentials, or accountability. Uh, all you care about is, does the sky make me feel good? Logic and proof are left to one or two. There's no interest in verify, validate, and repeat. Science approaches accomplishments and the tangible. There's an ongoing compulsion for further education and sharing of knowledge. A lot of times you see scientists with multiple PhDs and master degrees and uh, continual learning, going to uh, seminars and trying to get more and more knowledge base. Uh, credentials and experience give credibility. Let me repeat that. Credentials and experience give credibility. Knowledge is attacked and devoured by scientist peers who verify, validate, repeat, and uh, build upon that knowledge. Uh, any new uh, information that comes out immediately is devoured by other scientists uh, and build on that knowledge. Religion often moves by great leaps of faith and great leaders with charisma and vision. Uh, and so you see these new leaders that come in, replace the old leaders, and they uh, make great changes. Science is almost always slow, patient, and measured. Here are some, it's just a table. I just kind of wanted to show a little bit of the different uh, things that have to do with uh, religion. And I included over on the, on the right there, Flat Earth and Science. Uh, you can see what the different religions believe about God. Uh, flat Earthers usually believe one God. Their book of choice, uh, Judaism uses the Torah, the Talmud. Christianity, always the Bible, Islam, Quran, uh, Hinduism uses the Bhagavad Gita, what, how do you pronounce that? 
and flat earth. The big thing that you hear from all the time is 200 proofs uh, by Eric Dubay. Uh, founders, we all know these founders. The flat earth, it's Robotham back in the 1800s. For small groups, there's synagogue, church, mosque, temple, and for Flat Earth, there are YouTube video channels, and then uh, some of the big name people go around the, the country and maybe the world doing these local groups that are often only attended by 20 or whatever large groups. There are large churches. Not really much in Judaism and Islam, Hinduism, but definitely in Christianity. For Flat Earth, they have their Flat Earth International Conference, which is supposedly worldwide, usually attended by four or five hundred people. Uh, leadership. Uh, each church has its own uh, pastor, rabbi, whatever. Uh, I wasn't really sure about Muslims. But uh, on Flat Earth, your leadership is the video channel creator. So you have people like Nathan Thompson and uh, Mark Sargent, all these people that make, have made videos, make videos. Uh, do they, do they seek converts? Oh yes, Christianity is big on uh, trying to uh, seek for con converts, Islam, the same, and oh boy, Flat Earth, those guys uh, work hard at uh, getting converts from uh, the real world to the flat world. Sometimes they go a little overboard. Now you notice the column including science, I really didn't have anything to put there. Uh, nothing really uh, fit. Uh, there is, isn't really emphasis on a God. There is no central book like the Bible. Uh, as far as I know, there's no, there's no science Bible that all scientists must study. There's no real founder of science. You might consider Plato or Aristotle or somebody like that, but uh, not really. Uh, for groups, uh, there aren't really groups of scientists that meet. I don't really know of any. For leadership, there is no real central leadership. I mean, you might have a lead scientist on a project and then the people that work under him, but I wouldn't say there's a particular leader. Some flat earthers might point to Newton or Einstein but that's only because all we talk about it on here is flat earth. And uh, those guys really are only big in physics. In biology, you might have some other uh, leader that people, look, people know about, but no one really considers a leader as whatever he says is the gospel truth. Um, 
and I don't know what you would call seeking converts. There are scientists that go to classrooms and talk about what they do and how it works and encourage students that they can do what they want to do. But I really don't know of any that Try to really convert people. 